Welcome back to Fry Minis. I'm Eric, and today in our Van Richten's Guide to Ravenloft coverage, we're going to take a look at ghost stories, a horror genre. Okay, I think most people are generally familiar with the idea of a ghost story, uh, something from beyond the grave, haunting or spooking or doing weird stuff. Maybe you've got a campfire story all the way up to a evil haunted spirit cursing a house. I'm excited for this one, so let's jump right in. Ghost stories number among the more psychologically elaborate genres of horror. Only through revealing tales of tragedy and past wrongs can heroes truly bring peace to forces that share their suffering with the living. Ghost stories touch on fundamental issues of human existence, the nature of the soul, the weighty fact of mortality, and the burden of ancestry and history. Spirits represent heavy-handed instruments of supernatural justice plunging those responsible for their deaths into a living hell where they suffer for their sins. They also represent grief and the need for closure, lingering in a place until they bring about the completion of their work they hoped to accomplish in life. Ooh, I'm excited. I like that angle of uh, using this as a uh, cudgel of history. I think that's kind of neat. In addition, consider the following genre tropes when creating your haunted domain. All hauntings must have a deep story and the smallest details tell it. A simple locket or portrait might contain clues that explain a haunting. Personal ties give ghost stories weight. Consider tying the heroes to spirits in ways they won't predict, such as revealing that a phantasmal villain was a hero's ancestor. Heroes are pure-hearted or unsuspecting individuals whose resolve is shaken by the story's events. Look for ways to test heroes' psychology with your hauntings. Heroes need agency, a way to put spirits to rest. Once the story is revealed, ensure the way to combat the haunting is clear. Spirits are often evil, but they need not be. A spirit might appear to warn heroes of impending doom. I love all these tips, just not just, I mean, th these ones here are good too, but just generally, I love how these whole sections for these genres are built. Uh, they're great at helping you build your, your whole world here. Uh, what you need to do Here's some tips. Here's what to avoid. Here's what to look for. I just think it's really well done. Any creature that embodies or serves as a response to past injustices or tragedies makes a strong addition to a ghost story. Don't limit yourself to incorporeal undead when creating your own hauntings. The haunted trap section later in this book also explores options for creating threatening hauntings. We've got a list of ghost story monsters, MM, Monster Manual, VGR, Van Richten's Guide to Ravenloft. Death's Head, Animated Armor, Death and Dog, Scarecrow, Spectre, Poltergeist, Banshee, Ghost, Revenant, Gallow Speaker, Treant, Doolahan. What a shock! Those are all undead-ish. I really like the Treant in there. Like Haunted Tree, I think that's a cool addition. While the villains in ghost stories are often spirits or haunted places, they might also be the individuals who provoked a haunting to begin with. Ghost Story Villain List is a D10. Medium who feeds victims to spirits in exchange for power over them. The spirit of a long dead murderer who stalks the same type of victims in death as in life. The haunted home of a cruel patriarch who refuses to relinquish control of his descendants. A priest who marks the unworthy for death at the hands of the cathedral's hungry spirits. A phantom rider who sweeps through the village stealing victims who disbelieve her legend. An unbound spirit that repeatedly manifests in victims' nightmares. The capricious phantasm of an amoral accident victim who torments victims for fun. The spirit of a former tyrant who demands sacrifices from the village she once ruled. A ghost hunter who inflicts hauntings on unwitting clients and then charges to remove the undead. The spirit of an evil captain who lurks near their shipwreck, harassing vessels and crews that pass. Evil Ghostbusters, who are you going to call? Hopefully not these people. I think evil Ghostbusters could be a really awesome campaign. Whether they're living monsters or ghouls, dark lords and ghost story settings are the architects of their own tragedies. Ghost story torments are a DA list. The dark lord tames the spirits in his haunted mansion, but only when he sacrifices a memory. The dark lord's skin is haunted, but she can temporarily release spirits from her elaborate scars. A dozen phantoms cater to the dark lord. Each spirit is an emotion he can no longer feel. Vampiric spirits keep the Dark Lord forever young, but physical sensations fled them long ago. Despite being alive, the Dark Lord is cursed with the inability to convince anyone they're not a spirit. All spirits obey a Dark Lord who can't touch anyone without stealing their soul. 
The Dark Lord fully controls the veil between this world and the spirit world, but if he steps outside his mansion, he'll be permanently destroyed. Any animal the Dark Lord sees dies and comes to haunt the morbid zoo her home has become. So I thought my, I was going to say my favorite was the skin tattoo ghost thing, which is still really cool. Uh, but just looking at an animal and it dies and then it becomes a ghost for your zoo. Winner. Suffering, tragic death, or a villain's monstrous evil manifests subtly in the places ghost stories are set. Typically, a setting's hauntings are revealed slowly until the full nature of the horror is on display. Ghost story settings, D8. A realm where speaking to spirits is just like speaking with the living. A graveyard city-state where all residents are gravekeepers. A nation where the residents observe grueling rituals to keep the angry dead appeased. A city where the victims of violence can't cross into the afterlife until their murders are solved. A ship with the same name and lines as a vessel lost at sea a hundred years earlier. A realm in which a common ritual allows a living individual to trade places with a dead one. An expansive forest in which a cruel noble once haunted the poor for sport. A land in which mediums are revered because they maintain the veil between the living and the dead. I don't know how much of a campaign I would want to do with this, but as a story, the idea of a living person being able to give up their life to bring back a dead person. And the like, I mean, I feel like people would make people just to do that, just to have like backups for themselves. Oh, and then like obligation and family responsibility. You were made for this and rebellion. And I, I think, I think that's a treasure trove of ideas right there. Ghost stories are intensely personal and adventures within this genre take place in a setting dripping with tragic history. Ghost story adventure sites, D6 list. A decrepit conservatory whose inhabitants are prone to terrible accidents. A village graveyard that holds the victims of a terrible mass crime. A decrepit barn where dozens of remarkable animals lost their lives in a fire. An attic in which a hateful spirit has been sealed for decades. A theater in which decades ago an actor systematically poisoned their rivals. A swanky inn where for years nobles killed the staff to prevent word of their affairs getting out. A picturesque cliff that's a popular destination for lovers, despite the fact that couples frequently fall to their deaths. A lighthouse where a lone guard is the only living individual keeping an army of spirits at bay. That last one, that lighthouse one, that one gets me. Are the spirits from the sea? Are they? Is the light like uh, more than just a light? Is it like a ghost light? Ooh, 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 I love it. Ghost story adventures deal with learning the story behind a haunting and ultimately resolving it. They benefit from preserving the mystery behind a spirit's motivation until the heroes discover a hidden truth. Ghost story plots, D8. Investigate the bloody graffiti being left on the village's ancient walls and stop the vandal. A dying hero is convinced they're going to return as a spirit. Prevent this from happening. Discover why members of a prominent family never allow anyone to enter their guest house. Solve the murder of a phantom who can say only the words blood, onions, and wine. Solve the murder of the countess who drowned in the same well as her mother and grandmother. Convince a stubborn miser to visit his haunted family home and put his deathless family to rest. Discreetly follow a phantom vagabond to find out where she disappears to and with whom. Learn why a mob of spirits besieges the local temple on the winter solstice each year. Blood, onions, and wine. Uh, I, I love it when we have a quest kind of thing where we don't have all the pieces, even as the DM where we, we come up with these random things and try to try to spin something off of that. Uh, I actually uh, have a video talking about adventure board quests where players submit different bits of a, of a story and then it's kind of like a DM challenge mode uh, to put them all together into a cohesive thing on the fly. Uh, so this reminds me of that, so onions. Ghost stories are a great option uh, here. They are a very classic, very understandable uh, kind of story type. Uh, I feel like most ghost stories aren't going to be too scary. They're not going to be too gory, kind of like the body horror stuff. They're not going to be too out there, maybe like the cosmic. Uh, this is something that you can put in front of most of your players and they'll probably be okay with. I think, I think ghost stories will be a pretty safe bet relatively. Of course, you can go weird with it, but generally speaking. So what's your favorite ghost story you've ever played in D&D? 
Let me know in the comments below. Stay tuned for more Van Richten's guide to Ravenloft coverage here on Prime Minis. Thanks for watching.